A nuts cockpit view. I feel like I'm in Alice in Wonderland, like I'm at a, like I'm gonna have some tea or something, man. No, no, no. <laughs> we were about to go for it and then we were like fucking really hot so we had a break. Oh my god, the lock is fucking batting. another episode of Motor Man. Now, the last video did surprisingly well. I've seen there's a lot of reactions from you guys. Obviously, you guys are interested why I've decided to not buy an MT-10. If you haven't seen that video, definitely click the card above to check that video out. Long story short, MT-10 is the most fun I've ever had on a bike and I absolutely love it, but I don't think I'll be buying one. I got an MT-09, love the MT-09. It's my second MT-09, if you don't know. And quite frankly, it's all about that talk life. It's so, so fun and so talky. But if I get a new bike, which won't be anytime soon, I think I'll probably go for a sport bike. I'll probably go for horsepower and top speed instead of outright talk. I did do the review of the Yamaha R6. Absolutely loved the R6. It was a 2018, it was brand new at the time. Card is up there above if you want to see the review. I absolutely loved it. I don't think I was going quite as fast on that bike as I was on this bike. Um, I think she likes the bike. So my phone has been giving me like thunderstorm kind of alert warnings every night. <laughs> Not much surprise, obviously there, this thing will scream like some crazy ass in bed. I was definitely... Honestly, it was loads of fun, seamless quick shifting, fucking quick shifter. <laughs> Crazy, crazy, crazy fun. But this and the MT-10 are kind of similar. They're all about the talk life. Now I'm thinking I would want to get a sport. You guys probably didn't see that at all. I'm just like trying to do a little vlog here with the camera like in the bike in this quiet area. Like 28,000 Australians pulled up and just start chatting. It's so awkward. If I remember exactly where I was, I was talking about sport bikes and yeah, I'm thinking that instead of having all the talk life over here, I'm thinking I'll probably change completely and go to that horsepower life. Talk about exactly what kind of horsepower outright 1600cc whatever sport bike. Let's jump on the bike, this bike, and talk about the options. Alright, so I'm on the pie road. Seems like every time I make a video these days, I'm on the pie road. I don't actually ride that much. I ride like one time a week. I mean, kind of sounds like a lot when I say that, but I mean, I'd like to go on more trips. Hopefully I'll be able to do some trip vlogs and stuff in the future. But anyway, sport bikes. I mean, I know, I didn't really think I would be thinking about buying a sport bike in all honesty, but I am <sighs> trying to get down in these corners, man. See, I use most of that tire there, most of it there, pretty much. But yeah man, let's jump on the bike and talk about all of this a bike shit. <laughs> Got a little bit of A mode action for you guys today. I haven't had the bike in A mode forever. I feel like I haven't rode forever, but it's only what, two weeks? I had so much fun on the Yamaha R6. I have to say the R6 
was a hella fun bike man going through the gears with the quick shifter ringing it out i mean it you just ring in the 600 out and i guess that's the first part of this debate 600 or a thousand that was fucking atrocious Tell you what a mode is a mode is wheelie mode man that's what that is ecu flash this thing or something and get a to change to a w a little bit slippery out today up here in the north of thailand i have basically no doubt in my mind that a thousand is complete and utter overkill you just there's no way you need a thousand cc up here in the north of Thailand. I mean, look at these roads. This this is like my most favorite road that I ride. And I'd probably, uh, I definitely wouldn't be any faster than a thousand. Bro, this thing is fast, man. I ain't gonna lie. A mode, fam. I ain't rode A mode for a while. Fuck, this feels janky, fam. Let's do the first, the first time I did third gear, a little lift up. I'm just going to get off the bike because I'm just driving janky man I mean it's not really my driving I'm just occupied on flying around the corners and shit I mean I love this bike but and it's a big but if I did buy a super sport bike 1000 versus 600 is the big debate I personally I think I'd go 1000 just because I kind of want to keep the torque but when I think about it in the big scale of things the cost I don't think thousands are worth what they cost new i would probably and almost certainly buy a second hand if it was a thousand cc i don't know man now you've got the r6 obviously that i loved and you have the new zx6r now that's probably my most intriguing super sport bike out of everything now i like the styling i know a lot of people don't like the new headlight but i actually think the new headlight is nice this is kind of funny the way i'm just standing here on the side of the road isn't it it's a very interesting bike it's be it'd make a better road bike than the r6 and it'd still be good when you go to the track now for having that kind of position and having a proper sports bike i think it's quite a nice option and for the price it's almost the same price as the new mt09 it's only about forty thousand baht more so it's a good very good price a very good option i went back in standard i want that in a thank you very much yo 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 you can pick up a good second hand thousand for a really good price these days in thailand the prices are coming down all the time especially a zx10 r you can get for like 450 which is like 50,000 baht more than a brand new MT-09 so that's pretty crazy there's some good options you can even get an R1 at a good price these days I would want to go for a thousand instead of a 600 in all honesty a thousand I just think is where it's at because you you're gonna get the torque you know you're gonna get the torque to play with even if you don't use this top speed it is a bit of a what if I don't know if I'll do it as much as I love the idea of it I could see me doing it though to be honest though because it'd be a total change a big difference to what I'm used to I would genuinely like to do track days in the future I could see me doing a lot of track days in the future and making some vlogs here on Motorman progressing as I get faster sharing my lap times all that kind of thing it's something I think I'd be very interested in doing. I like, I've always wanted to do track days, but it's always, it's always never really happened. Especially if I could get to the south. There's an amazing circuit called Krenkachan in uh, Hua Hin, down in the south, as well as Bira Circuit. Obviously, you can do a track day on Chang Circuit, which that would be crazy, the MotoGP circuit. I would love to do those kind of things. For how I ride, I think this bike is so good. And for the money, this is unbeatable. But if I was going to change to a super sport bike, I think the ZX6R probably is the most enticing. Tell you man, it's dry and hot here in Chiang Mai now. 
really dry and hot and sometimes you know i just want to make some more kind of like authentic non uh super intensive subject videos like this bike or that bike sometimes i want to just do more of a vlog thing but youtube just doesn't seem to show your video to people so you need to make it always you know strongly based on this or that you know to get people drawn in so yeah guys a little bit of a quick video today nothing intensive i didn't get my big camera out and do loads of stuff but maybe i would have thrown some cinema shots in at some point maybe old shots i did have the bike in this exact same position because i come here all the time so maybe i'll throw those shots in so that's pretty much it guys i know it's kind of left field is that right do americans say that i think americans say that left field bit different just leave it as that hope you guys have enjoyed this video should i buy a super sport bike would you buy a super sport bike if you've been riding naked bikes or if you've had both do you really think super sport bikes are better or do you think naked bikes are better i don't know let me know before i finish as well sometimes i think oh well you know street triple rs because it's so track ready and it's still a naked bike and comfortable so <laughs> maybe that's the uh the gravy in all of this theory does that make any fucking sense Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Moto Man out. What the?